Hey, I'm Luke Schellenberger. I'm an ENT doc. So I have patients come in all the time with sinus problems. And sometimes I'm talking to them and trying to explain that what they have is a sinus infection. And they'll say, um, you know, yeah, I've had sinus pressure, or I've had some congestion or, or, you know, some clear drainage, but I'm not having high fevers or, or I'm not having, um, you know, blowing out giant amounts of like thick green snot how could that be an infection? I think about it a lot like a, a pot on a stove. And so sometimes we'll stick a pot on a stove and we'll be watching TV or playing on our phone. We'll forget the pot. And all of a sudden the pot boils over and like, oh my gosh, get the pot off the stove. And so, well, you got to get it off the stove. Or, and it's very obvious to everyone. And, and then there's other times that um, you, you just stick a pot on the stove and it just simmers for a while. And so sometimes patients will have... Um, we'll have a, a, a pot that will just simmer. And so we think about sinus infections a lot like a simmering pot. I'm gonna take this off because it's about to boil over. Um, so, you know, a, a pot can simmer, or, a, you know, we can put water that simmers for hours. And in the same way, sinus infections can simmer for weeks or even months if we leave them alone, or even sometimes we'll get on antibiotics and they'll just kind of persist and they'll just simmer and simmer and simmer for like a really long period of time, but not have those really obvious symptoms. And so think about chronic sinus infections more like a simmering um, than, than a true boiling over of infection. All right, hope that kind of clears things up for you, but it's time for breakfast.